Well, okay, I thought I'd do another Out and About with Clem video. Because I haven't done one of these in so long. See, I'm right here. I think your screen probably broke for now. I mean, I think your screen broke now, not for now. Anyway, um, we're going to a little thrift shop. Um, my mouth isn't working today, but I haven't been up for long. I thought we'd go to a little thrift shop I know, and talk to you while we go there. Of course, I will be shutting off the camera if there's any people around. Or I, I lose my train of thought like I'm losing right now. Well, a bunch of random people decided to come along anyway. So, anyway, some of you might be wondering why I haven't uploaded any videos lately. Well, the fact is, that last video I uploaded, my full feature animation that I did, I want that to get as many views as it can possibly get before I get upload any more videos because if I just keep uploading videos on top of that one just keep uploading more and more videos it's gonna get less and less views but I haven't stopped loading vid uploading videos altogether I will be uploading some more in fact I've got one for Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop which I'm working on right now I think what I might do for that feature length video that I've made I'm gonna make that my channel trailer so whenever anybody visits my channel that's the video that's gonna get more views I might keep it that way for about a year or so okay I just shut off there because we were in a residential area don't want everybody to hear me yammering away to myself or well, that's what they think I was doing anyway they wouldn't realize I'm talking to you guys on YouTube just kick something over taking the old HD 8Z camera out with me to do this filming I don't actually use this camera much I mean for my cool dude yet yeah, cool dude Clem's electronic workshop oh, there's a person over there but hang on okay I'm gonna try and continue on from here no matter where I go, there are people everywhere, but like I was saying, I don't use this camera much because of its sheer jello vision that it has. I mean, I shake it about and everything just completely turns to jelly. As you can probably see. Because of the stupid rolling shutter that it has. There's more people over there, they're probably going to come this way, aren't they? I'm sure all these other people are just put here to make making this video difficult. If I wasn't making a video right now, there'd be nobody around. But anyway, like I say, for my cool dude Clem Electronic Workshop videos, I usually use my webcam connected to my to my laptop. Because that's much easier to do it that way. Now it may not seem easier, but then I don't have to convert the file formats because it you know it automatically records the motion JPEG. I can just transfer the files to my other computer for editing over the network rather than mess about with SD cards and stuff like that so yeah but with this camera I have to take the SD card out stick it in my laptop convert the files then transfer those files over to my other computer where I've got the editing and you know it's just much more hassle to do it with this camera Anyway, the thrift shop we're going to is all the way over there. I can sort of see it right now. I know you can't, but I can. But I'm going to shut off the camera until we get in. Here we are. This is the place. We have to go in the back way. We have to get For some reason, the customers go in the back way. I don't know why. We'll take a look around, see if we can... See if there's anything good. It's usually just clothes and furniture, but sometimes there's some good stuff in here. Yeah. More people had to turn the camera off. 
usually some good stuff around here. Well, books and records. Why is it nobody in this country speaks English anymore? Can you hear that? None of which really take my interest. Really nothing interesting up here. See? Just boring stuff. Boring stuff over here. Kid stuff over here. Let's go back down. Okay, now we can take a little look at this place here. Okay, well, we're gonna go because it's closing time now. And I wasn't actually gonna buy anything from there anyway because I haven't got any money with me. Just thought we'd have a little bit of a look around. So, anyway, now I'm gonna walk back home. Well, actually, I've gotta stop on Tesco up the way because. I know I said I don't have any money with me. Well, I've got some mum's money with me. She always wants me to do the shopping. So when I said I haven't got any money with me, I meant I haven't got any of my money with me. <sighs> anyway, um, now we're out of there. I saw a few things that I want. That I'll come back to maybe later on and get. But that's going to be another video. Yeah, like I was saying, this cartoon of mine. You know, I'm trying not to do, you know, any new videos for a while. So that cartoon that I made can get as many views as it can before I upload a new video. You know the annoying thing? I took a lot of time and effort into making that. And it barely gets any views. Yet there's stupid videos out there on YouTube that took less than five minutes to make, you know, just standing in front of a camera, no editing or anything like that, just doing something stupid in front of a camera. And it gets millions of views within the first couple of minutes. not right. Sometimes I don't know why I bother. That's YouTube for you. I guess people on YouTube just want to see stupid stuff that didn't take any time whatsoever to make and because uh, everybody's crazy. Or at least everybody on there is crazy. As usual, more random people come along, so I had to stop the camera. I'm gonna have to stop it again. Well, just said a whole bunch of stuff and then realized the camera wasn't recording. It was paused when it was recording. I mean, paused when I thought it was recording and recording when I thought it was paused. So I was just going. And you didn't get to hear anything I said, which is probably for the better anyway. Even out in the middle of nowhere, there are people everywhere. 
and they're all f-bomb this and f-bomb that don't know why they just can't talk decently like I do they're almost as bad as people on YouTube yeah speaking of which there is a lot of things that I would do if I was running YouTube which would make it better first of all the video thumbnails Remember when they used to have the amount of stars under the video thumbnail? When they used to have the rating under the video thumbnail? I would put that back in. Because I'm constantly clicking on bad videos. Not knowing they're bad, because I don't know if they've been rated good or bad or not. I'm just wasting my time. Okay, well, welcome back to suburbia. Oh, camera's shaking about a bit because I'm having to hold these shopping bags on the camera at the same time. It's a little bit difficult. But like I was saying, other things I'll change about YouTube. Well, I've already discussed the video thumbnails. Also, if it would say... Um... Who the videos buy as well. And things like recommended videos. I mean it sometimes does, but sometimes it doesn't. And I think one thing that will make YouTube a whole lot better is I think videos. You should be able you should be able to flag videos if they have swearing in them. Because I don't think that kind of stuff should be allowed on any website. And I certainly don't think it should be allowed on YouTube. Because it's one of the worst things you can be exposed to. I mean, that kind of foul language hits me like a ten-ton truck every time I hear it. I'm not the only person who doesn't like that kind of stuff. So that's another change I make it. Also, the comments. I mean, sometimes I see a comment. When I'm looking through the comments of a video, I see a comment and it's a reply to another comment. Sometimes it doesn't put that comment below the original comment. So I have to go scarring grounding around no maybe that's not the right word I have to search around to try and find the original comment just so I know what he or she said it's ridiculous and sometimes the timestamps don't work you know I say three minutes zero seconds or whatever oh my god look at this at whatever and then there's a timestamp there, and sometimes it doesn't work. So that's another little bug I would have fixed. I mean, the comments are such a big mess anyway. And sometimes, you know, there's that thing at the, where it says, where you can select top comments or newest first. Well, when I have top comments selected, it doesn't always put the comment that's got the most thumbs up at the top. Like you'd expect it to. You know, you might have one comment with, say, like, seven com seven thumbs up right at the top. When you scroll down, you might find one with, say, 43. Like I say, it's a big mess. And they should fix that. So, have the rating displayed under the video's thumbnail, the date when it was uploaded under the video's thumbnail, and I don't really give two craps on a popsicle about the rate, um, about the number of views it has. Just name of the uploader, how long ago it was uploaded, or rather what date it was uploaded, so I don't get tricked into any more April 1st videos. And of course, most important of all, the video's rating. 
you know, the thumbs up to thumbs down ratio. You know, like that little bar that you get at the bottom of the video. I mean, under the video. Well, you know what I mean. And also, sort out the comments and make profanity banned. That would be the three big changes I would make to YouTube if I was running it. The other change I would make is I would put YouTube's interface back to how, you know, how it looked in 2009 instead of this Facebook style layout that they've got now. I also, I would also get rid of this load more thing. You know, you scroll down, you know, on some websites that have got loads of different pages of comments or uh, content or whatever. You scroll down, I'm sure you've seen it on a lot of websites, there's like numbers of pages you can click on to you know, load a different page of whatever. Now, they used to have that on YouTube, but they replaced it with the stupid load more thing. So you scroll down, and so if you're trying to like, like get a really old video up, you got to scroll down, click load more, scroll down, click load more again, scroll down, click load more, it could take ages. Not to mention, it's going to clutter up your computer. You know, I mean, sure, they don't take up a lot of space, but, you know, it adds up. This whole site's a complete mess. And I would also make it so you can choose what kind of channel page you want. So you can have the old alpha layout, or the beta layout, the cosmic panda layout, or the layout that they got now. I make it so you can choose which one you want rather than just uh, us all sticking to this one that they've got right now which I think looks absolutely ghastly anyway I'm getting back now so uh, I'll see you sometime later and until next time goodbye